it's, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho. So we're going to do the update on the Volkswagen Passat. Um, the company that I get my parts from, they're working with me. They went ahead and approved the timing tensioner. That is what failed after about 152 miles. So they're going to go ahead and warranty that out. I just need to get that removed off of there and sent back to them so they can send me another one. The issue, though, that I have is with the way the engine was running and the fact that the tensioner failed, There's there's been some play in one of the camshafts per the check engine lights and all that other stuff. that We got all that figured out. This is an interference engine. And so if you jump timing, if you lose your timing belt, if anything like that happens, you can get piston to valve contact and you end up bending a valve. And so it doesn't matter if I put another timing tensioner on there or not, the engine possibly may never run the same. So what's the best way to figure out ahead of time if we have a bent valve in here due to this timing tensioner failing? The best thing to do is to go ahead and do what's called a cylinder leak down tester. Now for those of you that are not professionals, you don't do this every day to feed your family, the best place to go is Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh Automotive cylinder leak down tester. It's like $40-$50. And it works just as good as a million dollar snap-on one. Plus, if it breaks, you can just take it right back up there and replace it. So, what we're going to do with this nifty device is we're going to introduce a certain amount of compressed air, constant compressed air, into the cylinder. And we're going to read our gauge here to see if we're losing compression. We're testing the valves. So, if this gauge let's say comes in at moderate or high what we want to do is we want to listen somewhere around the exhaust manifold or the intake manifold to see if we can hear a leak coming through there now you can also use this to test your piston rings as well uh, we're not going to mess with the piston rings here but if you want to test your piston rings go ahead and follow the instructions on this video just remove your oil cap and listen or your oil dipstick and listen out of the oil dipstick tube for any air escaping or anything like that also uh, you might hear air escaping out, out of your uh, PVC system so you can look at different hoses and stuff for air coming out of the intake if you're looking for a bent intake valve so we want to know if we have bent exhaust or bent intake valves so the first thing you want to do is take your cylinder leak down tester out of the box. You want to pull the tab on it. It's going to have an on off. All this does is let you lock that valve in place. And honestly, once I pull it out, I leave it out. It's annoying. So go ahead and turn it counterclockwise all the way out. And then all you need to do from there is introduce your air. Now, once you've done that, you want to turn clockwise. until you start seeing the needles move. Now, these lead down tester gauges, they're pretty picky. You're not looking for precision. You just basically want to know whether or not your cylinder is good or bad for compression and what percentage you're losing without having to do a bunch of math and all that other stuff. So, get it as close to zero as you can. Now that you've got it there, you've got your engine turned over so that your cylinder is on the compression stroke, or in other words, the piston is all the way up, the valves are closed. You can verify that the valves are closed by looking at the cam lobes, and then also verify that the piston is up by looking down inside of the cylinder and seeing the top of the piston. So now let's go ahead and introduce our compressed air. And I don't know if you can hear this, but you can hear the air going in there. Now let's look at our tester. Now as much as you guys out there want to have some fast and furious type engine, some super tight engine, the reality of it is you will never see an engine that has perfect zero uh, leak down. Between the valves, between the rings, between all that inside of there, you're going to have some leakage. What you want to know is how much leakage do you have and is the cylinder bad? Anything under 20%, you're good. Turbocharged engines, supercharged engines, don't be surprised if you get 20% leak down. That's just the way it works. Don't get too upset about it. This is considered a healthy cylinder. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove our tool. 
All right, we're going to make sure that we're set back to zero over here on the gauge. We don't need to mess with any of that. But we do need to go ahead and turn the engine over. So we're going to go ahead and pause it real quick, get this engine turned over. All right, folks. So I've got the engine turned over. Cylinder number two. Can lobes are up. Got my flashlight down in there. I can see the top of the piston. So we're at the top on the compression stroke. Going to reset my gauge here. Ah. Like I said, these gauges are picky. There we go. Just get it as close to zero as you can. Gonna install my connector. All right, so that cylinder, I'm actually gonna say it's just a little bit over 20%, but again, that doesn't necessarily mean we've got an issue. Now, one thing you can do, and see I got it to come down a little bit. Okay, you can wiggle, and if you want, you can take a rubber mallet and just tap some of this stuff. Reseat the valves in there is basically what you're doing. And if you notice, as I move it, our gauge kind of turns. So 20% is good. Cylinder number two is good. That's a healthy cylinder. All right, so I'm going to pause it and get set up for cylinder number three. All right, so we've repeated the same step with cylinder number three that we have a one and two. Turned it over, looked down inside, made sure our piston was up, our valves are closed. We've got our gauge zeroed out, set up again. Let's go ahead and test cylinder number two. Three. three. Cylinder number three. And like I said, these gauge are, gauges are picky. So just set your gauge somewhere where you're not going to tap it too much. And just work on it. I'm showing you this because uh, in case you get frustrated with theirs, you can see that I had to struggle too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Testing cylinder number three. And again, same situation. We're right at 20%. That's still a good cylinder that, you know, that's a really healthy cylinder. Let's wiggle some things around, see if we... Get that to change it all. Nope. All right. And so 20%, that's a healthy cylinder. We're in good shape there. Time to move on to the last one. All right, folks. And again, repeating the same steps that we have all the way down the line. We've turned our engine over. Cam lobes are up, so we know valves are shut. We've looked in that down inside there. Piston is all the way up. We've got our gauge zeroed out by first turning counterclockwise, introducing our air, then turning clockwise. And remember, getting this thing to zero out could be a pain. So don't worry if you struggle with it. And we're gonna go ahead and test our last cylinder. And our last cylinder comes in at 20%. So the good news is at 20%, or below for all four cylinders tells me that there are no bent valves in this engine we're in good shape so i'm going to go ahead and get the timing tensioner warrantied out put a new tensioner on that that should fix it i did notice that as i was turning this engine over with the tensioner not working correctly the play and the timing belt seems to allow the exhaust camshaft to just kind of play back and forth a little bit. There's a little play in it. Or in more simple terms, this camshaft actually moves before this one does by a few seconds. Let me see if I could actually show that to you. Watch back here. See that play in that camshaft? And that's due to that, to the, see? That's due to the play in the belt. 
And so I'm pretty sure that's that's where the noise is coming from. Uh, per the leak down cylinder test, I'm confident we're in good shape. So the owner will be happy about it, and we can go ahead and get this warranted out and taken care of. So, all right, folks. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. I even got a shirt. <laughs> Uh, th thanks for coming out and supporting me and the family watching watching my videos and all that other stuff check me out on patreon.com and gofundme.com i'll get the links posted i got some pretty cool projects all associated with automotive repair going on at those two sites and um we'll go ahead and uh, end this video i am signing off